nationalism in Europe. In this module, you learn about the rise of nationalism in Europe. Nationalism refers to the sense of having a common national identity and history among the citizens of a nation. Nationalism began in Europe with the French Revolution in 1789 and resulted in the emergence of a nation state in which a centralized body elected by the citizens has the sovereign control over a defined territory. Prior to the revolution, France was a monarchy. However, during the revolution, many nationalist ideas, such as La Patrie or the Fatherland, unless Citoyen or the citizens, were introduced to create a sense of collective identity and equal rights amongst the citizens. As the ideas of the French Revolution spread across Europe, many students and educated members of the middle class who were inspired by these events began setting up Jacobin clubs all over Europe. The activities of these clubs paved the way for the French armies to move into other European states and spread nationalist ideas in the invaded states. The French armies also carried many administrative reforms in the states that came under their control. For example, the Civil Code of 1804, called the Napoleonic Code, which banned all privileges based on birth and established equality before law and the right to property, was exported to the states under the French control. By the mid-18th century and the early 19th century, the spread of industrialization to all parts of Europe brought about ideas of liberalism. Liberalism meant freedom and equality for all individuals and a government by consent. However, liberalism did not apply to the concept of universal suffrage, with voting rights being restricted to propertied men. Liberalism also meant the free movement of men and material across different regions. This led to the spread of economic nationalism that enhanced mobility and sharing of economic and social interest, which in turn led to a national unification. However, after the defeat of Napoleon in 1815, the representatives of Britain, Russia, Prussia and Austria met at Vienna to draw up a settlement for Europe through the Treaty of Vienna. The main intention of the treaty was to restore the overthrown monarchies and to set up a new conservative order in Europe. However, the regimes set up were aristocratic and did not tolerate criticism, and they imposed a censorship on the ideas of liberalism and freedom. This led to the setting up of secret societies by the liberal nationalists to spread the idea of nationalism and liberalism all over Europe. For example, the Italian revolutionary Giuseppe Mazzini founded two secret societies, Young Italy in Marseilles and Young Europe in Bern, with a vision of a democratic Republic of Italy. Nationalist tension during the time was most serious in the Balkans region, which was under the Ottoman Empire. The spread of the idea of romantic nationalism, along with the diminishing power of the Ottoman Empire, enabled many regions to break away from the empire and declare their independence and political rights. However, the nationalities that broke away from the empire were continuously fighting over their territories. As a result, the Balkans became the main area of contention for the nationalist struggle. Things got worse when existing big powers such as Russia, England and Germany wanted to extend their power over the Balkan area. The Balkan Wars led to the First World War in 1914, which destroyed most of Europe. Many countries colonized by the European powers began to have anti-imperial movements that were nationalist in nature. These countries wanted to break away from the colonial rule and adopt the idea of nation-states. Let's recall what you've learned. Nationalism refers to the sense of having a common national identity and history amongst the citizens of a nation. Nationalism began in Europe with the French Revolution in 1789. Napoleon introduced the Civil Code of 1804, which banned all privileges based on birth and established equality before law and the right to property. By the mid-18th century and the early 19th century, the spread of industrialization to all parts of Europe 
brought about ideas of liberalism. Liberalism meant freedom and equality for all individuals and a government by consent. By the last quarter of the 19th century, nationalism lost its liberal democratic center. Nationalist tension during that time was most serious in the Balkans region, which was under the Ottoman Empire. The Balkan Wars led to the First World War in 1914, which destroyed most of Europe. 